We all knew there'd be a new UMX plane before the end of the year, right? And I think they're gonna hit a home run, I'm hoping anyway, with the brand new UMX Twin Otter. Look at this thing. They didn't just take the Twin Otter and make it small, they gave it a nice new bright red paint scheme and I think it looks fantastic. It's very exciting that it has twin motors, they're brushless, they're very nice by the way, and it's flying on a 1S battery. This is an 800 milliamp JST plug LiPo, which is kind of crazy. It's the same internals and guts as the UMX Ultrix, but put into a beautiful uh, twin otter with lights and everything. We've got aileron control, elevator. Interestingly enough, no rudder, but I think we have differential thrust. We're gonna play around with that in today's maiden flight and see how it does. Traditionally, with all UMX planes, it comes out of the box just like this. With one press of a button, it binds up to your radio and you're ready to fly. So we're losing sunlight really quickly. I just wanna get this in the air and have some fun, so let's get right to it. Those lights look absolutely amazing. They really do. And Abby, before we take off, let's see. Yeah, differential thrust got it to spin. We, we can steer it with differential thrust and check out the hypnotic stripes on the props. They did good with that. I'm glad they kept those. All right, let's go. There's that differential thrust. All this is working right out of the box simply from binding it. We have safe on for this takeoff. Being a maiden flight, there we go. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Those motors are brushless. They're nice and quiet. Let's get a nice couple of flybys and passes and ju just do a nice traditional flight video. We're so lucky today to have basically no wind. That's beautiful. This is, this is a huge win already. Just from the looks, the fact that safe is working so perfectly out of the box. Differential thrust. When I, when I mix in um, what would be rudder on this, it takes over quickly. So you got to be careful of that. I am cruising at about 40% throttle. I'll get right in close to the camera on this pass. Let's get a little closer. Flying it like a big plane because that's what it feels like. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful, guys? This is awesome. <laughs> the lights on this, too, they look insane. Okay, let's bring it in. Full throttle pass. See how it does. Full throttle. There we go. Pretty good for a little 1S plane with two motors. Very scale airplane. Here we go. Full throttle one more time. Let's go with some extreme maneuvers on um, just in safe. This is really agile and has a lot of really good flight characteristics. We're not dipping out of the sky or anything. Look at this. This is all just bank and yank, not touching any of the rudder, which is actually differential thrust. That is really nice to be able to turn that aggressively in safe. That's about half throttle too. Maybe, maybe more like 60, 70% throttle. Okay, so let's go full up in safe, full down in safe. All right, that's our limitations with safe. Now let's kick safe off, see if it flies good. Got a little climb in there. I could trim that up, but it's not bad. So let's go for a loop. Right into a roll. Should be, a, oh yeah, that handles rolls really well. This is nice. Totally out of safe now. And we're gonna keep it that way. That's a really good roll rate, you guys. Not even touching differential thrust yet, except that couple seconds in safe. Let's go for a nice big climb. Nice climbing loop. Oh, this is awesome. We picked a good evening for this. And time for differential thrust. Oh yeah, that's insane. I knew wow. we could do some crazy stuff with this. Okay, when we mix in differential thrust, this thing just goes nuts. So yeah, it's a very good scale plane, obviously, but <laughs> y'all are gonna hate me. That's just differential thrust. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is basically- You said like a vertical cartwheel. It's an Ultrix. This is an Ultrix with a twin otter body. <laughs> this is crazy. That's exactly what it is. That's, that's... So let's safe off because I wanted to use safe to save me and we're just gone. That was differential thrust, but just also some other input. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so crazy. With that differential thrust, this thing can do so much stuff, I'm sure. Let's see if we can do it in any in, in inverted flight. A little nervous. I always get nervous upside down, being a new plane especially. It doesn't love inverted, but it's handling it fine. I don't need a lot of up elevator for that, <clears throat> or down elevator. And it did a nice outside loop, as you guys saw, so that was really cool. <laughs> what a cool little plane on this evening to fly this. Look at this thing. 
And that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> you, you would love flying this because it's extremely easy to handle. Nothing crazy except when you kick in rudder, which turns on that differential thrust, right? It's not rudder, but it's just differential thrust. That's you it. told me yeah. earlier there it doesn't is no have rudder. rudder technically. That's right. There is no rudder. It's, it's just differential thrust because what they did was take Ultrix guts and put it in this. Ooh, very nice. nice. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is just a beautiful airplane. I'm going to keep it a little more scale toward the end of the flight here because it's a very scale looking plane, but you better believe I will have a ton of fun flying this thing, <laughs> not scale too. There's just a lot of people that watch our videos that want to keep the airplanes scale and I get it, especially a plane like this. Now here's an interesting thing too. You can buy, um, I think it's basically the only small set of floats Horizon has. It's the UMX floats for other planes and they will work on this. So I'd like to get it out on the water. But look at these like little perfect landings Touch and Go's undoing. This is great. We're losing our daylight, but honestly, the lights on this look so good. I think we could probably fly this at or very close to nighttime. Seems to be really efficient too. Let me take a look at my battery. No, let's see, I'm not sure if we have. I'm not sure if I have telemetry set up on this. But I do hear a full scale. I gotta be a little cautious, but no radio, so they're probably just flying over. That's our five minute flight timer. On an 800 milliamp battery, we should be able to get some really good flight times, uh, but it's really cold out today. I think we're right around 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so flight times are gonna be reduced pretty noticeably when you're flying in cold. And that's okay, because the thumbs can't really handle it anyway. <clears throat> what do you guys think? UMX Twin Otter. I think they did a fantastic job on this. It is beautiful. It is scale. There's that full scale guy. He's flying over. He's very, very high up. <clears throat> we're good. So awesome. Let's go a little more aggressive right here. Might as well push it. Let's see how we can get our flight time in on this. Now, one thing about um, UMX planes is when the battery gets low, usually the, mo the motors will pulse. And so I haven't felt that yet. So it should be okay. So let's go uh, safe off, full throttle. And let's just kind of turn it over here. Nice. That was the zero throttle kind of like dive, death dive. <clears throat> see if we can get this guy. He's He's really up there. We'll go up to the moon, Abby. So if we're up here to the moon. He's right above the moon. He's, he's up super there. high up there. Can you see him? Oh, looks just like your UMX That's plane right. up there. Right. <laughs> there you go. Same shot right there. there. <laughs> that moon is so bright. It there. is. Range on this is great. It flies high well. Here's zero throttle. Let's look at uh, stall tendencies. I'm not touching anything. That's zero throttle with no input on the right stick. I'm just letting it fall. It's falling fairly quickly. That's zero throttle and not pulling up. Now I'm going to pull up just a little bit and I'm pulling up and giving it some throttle just so we don't hit the ground. <clears throat> I hear our geese friends. Yeah. Apparently okay. they have not today. flown south yet. There you go. There, right in, <laughs> right in the pack. Actually, Which one's you? Like, cool? I'm right in the middle of the V right there. Can you see me? That's hilarious. There we go. One of the gang. <laughs> See you, geese, they're gonna hit that pond back there. Well, Abby, we're losing daylight completely. And this flight time is extremely awesome. This is just a maiden flight. And <coughs> Sorry. That's okay, word to the wise here too. Um, I actually filmed a short little how to bind video uh, before taking off on this battery. So a very small bit of usage um, was used to film that video. We'll probably release that sometime uh, in a couple weeks or so. Something like that, you guys will see it on the channel. But the reason I tell you that is because this flight battery, this maiden flight, I used some of that battery to bind it up and everything too. So that's, that's pretty impressive. And I'm not getting any signs of low battery yet. You're at eight so minutes. I think that's a perfect maiden flight. Let's bring it in for a, hopefully a smooth landing, as smooth as those touch and goes were. That's just, just beautiful and perfect. And although the nose wheel doesn't steer, the differ, differ, blah, 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 differential thrust, excuse me, is so powerful that it's actually doing better than a steerable nose wheel. So you do have to give it just a little bit of throttle, but you can drive that around really well. And then when you just idle it, 
Those props look so good. What an awesome plane. So right here is one of the reasons I had to land. I <laughs> took off with the sun and landed with no sun. These are prescription sunglasses. And so I, I really had to land before I just couldn't see my plane anymore. But they hit a home run on this. I, I love UMX planes and I think we all do. They come out of the box in one piece. They're already built and everything. You plug in a battery and they bind right up. I mean, it's just extremely well done. UMX knows what they're doing. Safe is already assigned to a switch. It just flies perfectly, absolutely perfectly, right out of the box. And this thing is fun too. I, I would be a little disappointed at no rudder. I honestly would. But the differential thrust is so powerful and works so well, there's no need for it. What I was doing, even in safe, if I didn't like the look of my bank and yank turn, I just gave a little rudder input and it just gives a little bit of differential thrust, which kind of looks and feels like rudder. When it doesn't is when you really crank rudder full, then you get a ton of differential thrust and that could throw a person off, which is why I mentioned that. But if you're a traditional bank and yank flyer, you keep it in safe, it'll look extremely scale. Out of safe, it can also look really scale, but do some insane things too. That is awesome. If you're interested in this plane, we'll have it linked in the description box below. And just know that using that link does help to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. And we greatly appreciate the support. For this amazingly calm and beautiful evening, I wanna say huge thanks to God for getting us out here and sharing this experience with you guys. And finally, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we definitely couldn't get out as often as we do and be able to bring the content that we do to the world to enjoy for free. So we thank you our Patreon supporters from the bottom of our hearts. If you love UMX planes or maybe the Twin Otter, we'll have one of those two videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.